Yeah, good. James Hodder, Rifle TV, in association with Matt Glynn's Jim Marvel. We're at the press conference today for Martin Murray v George Groves on the undercard of Anthony Joshua v Dominic Brazil. Also fighting on the card, undefeated Conor Ben. How are you, Con? I'm good, mate. Couldn't be better, mate. Loving life. Good. Excited to be fighting back in London, mate? Uh, unbelievable. We're starting to feel at home. The O2's home for me now. I bet. Also quite fortunate enough to be joined by Charlie Sims. How are you, Charlie, mate? Very well, thank you. Good. Good. Talk to me a little bit about the press conference today, mate. How did you find it? The uh, press conference was good, you know. Um, just getting used to talking in front of crowds like that who, who love and support, support me through my career. And, you know, it's a great experience and, you know, plenty more to come like this. Excited for your third contest. How excited are you to, to be going in there and doing this, mate? I'm oh, buzzing. I'm going into every fight with different intentions, different game plans and really trying to put it all together you know hopefully one day by the hopefully by the end of the year we'll see the final product of what Conor Ben's actually made of but it will take time. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about sort of the semi altercation between yourself and English today Chris Eubank senior you seem to be getting on your on your case a little bit or you perceived it to be that way could you sort of explain what happened there I'm mate? fine I just think he's a twat mate period I put that up I don't care who's he to talk about my life in front of people mm -hmm. who is he to talk about my life in front of people it's a twat period did he, did he offend you by bringing stuff like out of box and stuff into the press conference? Who does he conference? think he is? English. Who, who does he think he is to talk about my life? Where about, where about your son? Let me do my thing. You worry about your son. Don't, don't get your nose in none of my business. Don't go snooping around looking for trouble. Period. Do you think that hostility that, and that relationship he's had with your old man sort of plays a little part no, in his no, comments? No, no, I thought he was all right. And now, now you see why my dad didn't like him. You see why no one likes him. You see it. Um, I thought he was all right. Yeah, okay, cool, Eubanks. Yeah, cool, man. You went to all my dad. And then you come and carry on like that, like an idiot. Like an immature idiot. Do you think that's all part of his facade? It that is. He, he just comes across sort of a bit flamboyant in some, some cases. It's not even flamboyant, mate. Absolutely. It's not, it's, you know, we're not talking about boxing, we're talking about personal stuff. And I think Connor just came here tonight to just talk, talk about June 25th. That's, it, that's all I come here to talk about. Mm -hmm. Just got a bit out of hand, really, didn't it? And it got out of hand with Dave Caldor as well. Um, a very respected guy in the industry. And it was just a shame it went like that, but Eubanks uh, always going to cause a scene. So. Do you think you've got to sometimes expect the unexpected when hashtag English is involved? Look, he, he was always like this when, when he was a fighter. Uh, I wasn't around in that era, but I, I remember watching back, watching back with his dad, and, 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 he's, and he's come again uh, with, with Junior. And he does make some good points about some, some good stuff, but he, he does also make some very odd points about stuff like people's personal lives. I, didn't, I don't think that was very necessary, but it's just the way he is, I guess, isn't it? Yeah. I suppose you have to deal with all types of things as a pro boxer, so it's another thing Definitely. crossed off your lift, list, having a row with English at a press conference. I just don't care, mate. Um, you know, let me rephrase all that anger that I just said a couple seconds ago. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's do the right let's thing. Rephrase let's rephrase that. Let's do the right thing. back, bit calm. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, he is who he is. And, you know, I don't think it was nice. I don't think it was necessary. And I don't think he should have said what he said. Um, everyone's got a past and that's what makes you. Every fighter has a past Absolutely. and that is what makes you the fighter you are today. And, you know, maybe when I'm done in my journey, I can share my testimony with a lot of people um, as to why I am and how I am where I am today. Not from English. That's, my, that's my job to do when I feel comfortable, not him. It's out there for everyone to watch. Obviously, it was during the press conference. It's been aired on how many cameras and everyone. So I'm sure everyone will have their opinion on it. Thank you for giving me your thoughts. I do appreciate it, mate. And I wish you the best of luck with your fight on Thank Thursday. You. We will see you at the Wayne. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. you very much.